VO3 is a total piece of shit, and if you're on the fence about signing up for it, I sincerely hope that this video can talk you out of it. That is, unless you're happy to pay hundreds of dollars for the privilege of being an alpha tester for a half-baked, buggy, and fundamentally unusable piece of shit software that fails to deliver on the most basic selling points it was advertised over. In a decision that I would soon regret, I recently decided to take advantage of a 50% off promo and paid $125 plus tax for a month of Google AI Ultra, which bought me 12 and a half thousand credits to use with VO3. Since each eight second video generated consumes 100 credits, this means I paid about $1 for every video generated. This also means that the normal price would come to about $2 per eight second video, which would still be completely fair if the videos had anything even remotely approaching a high success rate, but unfortunately they absolutely fucking do not. My first attempt at a video was pretty straightforward. I generated a 16 by 9 image in mid-journey of a man standing in a grocery store. I used this image as the first frame and provided the following text prompt. Stationary camera shot. The man is standing still and talking to someone off camera. He says, quote, excuse me, do you have any potatoes in stock? Now, granted, I am not a f***ing prompt wizard, and I assumed that I would need to add additional details or restrictions to get exactly what I was looking for, but I figured that this would be straightforward enough to act as a starting point that I could iterate off of. Unfortunately, I never got that far. I generated 10 videos in a row using this exact prompt and image combination. And yes, I made absolutely sure that they were all generated using the VO3 highest quality option instead of VO2. Of those 10 videos, six of them had no audio whatsoever. Two of them had no audio, but did include these very helpful subtitles, which I did not ask for, and which were incomprehensible, and would have probably rendered the clip useless anyway if it weren't already useless due to the complete lack of audio. And here, for your viewing pleasure, are the two clips that did have audio. Yeah, so not off to a great start here. I mean, the videos look great, but again, voice and audio were the major selling points for VO3 and the reason that I signed up in the first place. I mean, in the clips with no audio, he isn't even mouthing the words that I wrote for him, so I couldn't even use them with a voiceover if I wanted to. At this point, I realized that I had already blown $10 and had nothing to show for it, so I decided to scrap this project and try something different. My next attempt was more successful. Here's the finished product. So do you live around here? No, I live way out in the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> So for this one, I decided to just start with a text prompt rather than an image. So, and hey, what do you know? We have audio right out the gate. And speech, no less. Yeah. So clearly there's something no, borked up with generating from an image, but again, that's a pretty major here? bug on a pretty oh, yeah. primary no, feature. After some there. very minor uh, prompt modification, I managed to get something usable on the third here? attempt, no, which is really not bad. The second scene with the guy buried in a pile of sticks was not so easy. Veal had a really hard time with this and kept giving me a guy laying on top of a pile of sticks for some reason. It also kept turning him Asian, and I'm not sure what that's all about, but okay. I decided to go back to mid-journey, generate this image, and just go from there. And again, no audio when generating from an image, but that's okay. This part didn't have any dialogue anyway, and I could just use some audio of my own in Premiere. So at this point, I had three usable clips, so I just went ahead and upscaled them to 1080p and very quickly discovered that upscaling the clips removes all audio from them upon download. <laughs> I swear to Christ, I went back and upscaled every single clip I had made so far, and every single one lost the audio when I downloaded it. And according to Reddit, this is a common issue at this point. So I guess what you could do, because it's what I did, is download both the 1080p and the 720p and just use the audio from the 720p version. But at this point, I was beyond pissed off. I had spent about $25 in credits and about four hours of aggravation of trying to get this stupid f***ing thing to do the most basic sh** that it was advertised it could do before I finally gave up. This is not a finished product. These are not minor bugs. 
This is not worth the asking price of $250 a fucking month. I requested a refund, and as of the time of this recording, I've not heard anything back. They say it can take up to four business days, so if I do get my money back, I'll update in a pinned comment. At the rate at which this technology is advancing, I have no doubt that VO3 or some other competing product will be able to produce high-quality video with sound in the very near future, but there is no excuse for advertising and releasing a product like this with a $250 a month price tag when half of the basic functions do not work at all. At the very least, they could have some kind of a mechanism for refunding credits for the clips that generate without audio. Still annoying, but at least then you're not charging me every time your program doesn't work. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I feel much better now, so thank you for listening.